is better organized and more widely spread than first suspected, and that all evidence points to an extremely committed move. The Empire has announced. Hi, this is Zobble 1975 and today I am bringing you a video, I just want to talk about the background simulation and minor factions and the, the structure behind the influence and making your faction the ruling faction in a system, trying to expand your faction and you know, various things that you do to try and you know, affect the background simulation. Now I'd always assumed that it was a fairly simple affair. Um, I really didn't look into a lot of it um, until recently. Um, when I used to be in the XL, I used to do a lot for the background simulation, but I'd basically do what um, Brainiator at the time, who um, kind of worked behind the scenes of the XO to direct people into what to do and where to do it, um, and I would basically do whatever he instructed. Very simple go complete missions there, turn in discovery data there, do some bounty hunting there, whatever was needed I would do a bit of it every week towards the background simulation and smugly think I'd done my bit. Um, however after reading the Mercs of McCoon's background sim and colonization testing minor faction and background sim guide, whew, I have learned that it is a lot more complicated than I gave it credit for. In fact, I was very impressed with the guide. I will leave a link to it in the description. I mean, basically all I do um, to affect background sim is missions. I do tons and tons of missions when they're needed. Um, I usually do courier missions because you can stack more of them. Uh, delivery missions, you can do them and they're fine. They, they make money and add to influence, but you can only fit a few of them on board, um, as you'll see in one of the screenshots coming up. You know, it, it doesn't take a lot to fill out your cargo hold with my Type 7 even when, you know, for smuggling missions and things like that. So I use a lot of courier missions. I do an awful lot for the background sim, just running missions um, on bulk. It's the easiest way to affect it. And my preferred shift of choice when affecting background simulation is the ASP. Now I would say the Python is probably the best ship to affect background simulation because mostly all missions are available to you when you're in the Python. You're a medium landing pad with good cargo space. You can do virtually any mission that can come up. So. If you're going to run missions to affect background sim, I would recommend using a Python you know, multi-purpose build. Um, however, I use the ASP for courier missions and my Type 7 for my delivery missions because this is just the way I roll being an all lake on weirdo. But I'll leave a link to the guide and uh, take a look, it's well worth it. That's all, thank you very much for watching.